everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 35, and this is war number seven. And we're going against an alliance called HC Avalanche. All right, let's see who they've banned. Torch, Quake, and Hercules. Okay, no Spider-Man 2099 uh, banning. So let's take a look. Uh, today is a busy day for me, so I'm getting in here a little bit uh, late. All right, so I've got a Warlock right off the bat. And I've got a Tigra. And then uh, Mole Man is the Mini. So we have been, um, my alliance mates on the left side, we created a little group. And we are uh, talking about how we're going to handle this. And uh, we're going to do it where uh, each of us maybe takes one of these minis. Let me see. He had something to say since it's so late. Uh, so he's saying he'll take Nimrod here. And he said Doom, but I do not see Doom. So that might have been in the middle. So he needs somebody else to take uh, Mole Man and Professor X. So I don't have to worry about, for example, bringing Warlock, since he said he's going to take Nimrod. So I can bring in somebody else. Like for Professor X, I can bring in um, Nick Fury. Which means, though, that we could be delayed because... Uh, the guy who takes path two is on a different time zone. And uh, I'm usually asleep when he wakes up and, and gets this. So if he grabs that uh, mole man and I don't see him saying anything, uh, I can take the mole man as well. I'm trying to think what's their uh, global here. Unstoppable armor. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I could take Mo Man. I'd have to bring someone in for him. Or I can just bring in Nick Fury and uh, take the Professor X. But I'll be asleep when they're uh, getting up. So it's a little bit of a timing issue. It would be better for me to take the mole man and for him to take that uh, Professor X. That would definitely be better. Hmm. Just timing wise. And then they can handle the rest of that. And mini boss islands already handled. All right. So I'm going to try, I'm going to bring in Claire for sure. And I will bring in, Nick Fury, but who to bring in for this mole man? I'll have to think about it. Um, who's going to be uh, good for that mole man if I decide to take him? Uh, I don't see uh, the other guy uh, commenting, so he's probably already asleep. But, all right, let's get with the fighting. I... I'm going to talk this over and find out who's good for that mole man on that node. All right, so we'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and we're going in with this team. Doom to handle that mini, uh, Claire to handle most of everything else, and Nick Fury, um, just because I like him, because uh, Claire could have taken the fight that I used him for. And, ooh. Wait till you see what happens uh, in one of the fights coming up. All right, so the first fight is against Warlock. Not a big deal here. Uh, we're familiar with this node. Nothing uh, too surprising. The unstoppable armor can be annoying. He does get an armor up periodically um, in addition to the global. But it's all good. Um, 
Claire, strip that away, and we just have to play it, you know, kind of uh, safe, a little slow, you know, watch the timer uh, and just be aware. And I often lose track of the timer and end up getting whacked because, of course, it, it says it's a, a, what is it, a 30% chance, but it feels like a 100% chance. If you're attacking, they're going to get an unstoppable and whack you around, okay? So you see the timer right there. I hit a heavy, weighted, okay? He has two armor ups right now. All right, no problem. I'm still watching that timer. Um, she puts that nice uh, debuff immunity on him. All right. So there we go. No um, armor up there. But ah, there you go. I'm telling you, it's really annoying. I hate that global. I was watching the timers and still messed up. Still got it. Because I'm like, okay, she put the debuff immunity. And I watched the one timer. But then his armor came up. <laughs> and of course, like I said, it seems like it's a small chance. But almost 100%. Of the time, if I'm attacking right in the middle of my attack, that's what happens. It happens too often. All right. But anyway, uh, now we've got uh, a Tigra. And this is the fight that I could have done with uh, Claire. But sometimes I like to use uh, Nick Fury because he makes me feel safe. Because I know she's not beating him. You know, even if she goes crazy... I still have the decoy. So I, I like using Nick Fury. Uh, eventually, I'm going to take him up to uh, rank four. Eventually. I don't know when when I'll be able to. But definitely, he is uh, on my mind to do. All right. So look at this. I could even push it to a special three at this point if I didn't want to sit there baiting that out, to be honest. And look at this. I'm just letting the bleeds take care of the work. Down she goes. She didn't want to fire her special. But it didn't matter. Now, this fight. It was a learning experience. I'll tell you guys that. Um, and what I learned was that I shouldn't be bringing Doom into this fight against uh, Mole Man. Against Mole Man. And... I also learned that I'm very, very unlucky. So look at all of the boosts, okay? And we're going to talk about it. I'm actually going to pause it uh, when we get to a certain point so that uh, I can talk about uh, the fight a little bit more. So we have a lot going on on this node. That's just, you have a lot going on. And depending on who they put on here, you've got a lot other things going on that you have to keep track of. Now, you see, Doom is nice and tanky, but we've got Strike Counter Fury. So, all the while, he's building up Furies. And you don't want him to hit you when he's got a lot of Furies up, right? So, you see how I'm just waiting it out? All right, so now I got this. Boom, boom. All right. Now, let me pause this and go back a little bit in the video. All right. So... I have a special three at this point, and I'm just trying to push him to a special two. Then I'm going to hit him with the special three and, you know, uh, try to do that little work, right? And then, let's see if we can move it a little bit. There we go. Right there. There. Okay. Um, let me see. Can I move it back, like? Just a little bit. There we go. So, because I, I want, I want you guys to see what happened here, because I had to look, I had to go back and research. All right. So at this point, he has an armor up buff. All right. But you see the global timer. Okay. That global timer. It's the one all the way to the left. When that one runs down, that's when he gets another armor up, and there's a chance that he will go unstoppable. But we know how that works. We just saw how that works, right? Okay. So now I'm watching that. But what I should have been watching was the one right next to it. 
The one right next to it are the chitin charges, and that is part of the node. Okay, so you have the global node counting down, about to get an armor up. But then you have the node itself. When you hit 10 chitin charges, you get an armor up. Okay, you see what's happening. He also has eight furies stacked up right now. So I hit him. Okay, let's uh, go here. Boom. I hit him. So here's what happened. The chitin charges went to 10. He got an armor up. The unstoppable armor global triggered on that armor up because of the chitin charges reaching 10. You'll notice that the timer for the global one, where they get it periodically, hasn't even gone down yet. So that wasn't what happened. That's why I was so confused when it happened to me the first time. So you had the chitin charges going to 10, got an armor up, then that supposedly low chance hit, and he went unstoppable, okay? Now, you'll notice that he went frenzy. That's because Doom hit him and put a shock, but he's immune. You can see it underneath the Fury. If you look on the right-hand side there, you see the immune? So he got more, um, he got enough mass to go into frenzy. Then he had the, uh, the uh, Furies from the strike counter uh, Fury node. So you see all that happened right there. Chitin charges went to 10, armor up, bam, he went unstoppable. I hit him, put a shock on him, he's immune to it, got enough mass, and bam, he went frenzy. He had already gotten eight Furies, and you saw what happened. All right, so that was an ugly death, but it was educational. Now, I showed that video to uh, my alliance, and uh, they were laughing because I said <clears throat> I didn't even have time to scream. You know, I'm sitting there fighting. I'm just like, yeah, you see, I'm just stunned. Look at me. I'm just sitting here like what just happened? You know, because I didn't know until later when I started examining what went on. And I talked a little bit about it on uh, my live stream. And that's all that was happening during there. We actually figured it out. I showed it to him. We step through it, and they're like, okay, yeah, because there was a number of things going on, okay? Look at this. He's just ripping me up, and I almost messed up right there because I got nervous because he was, like, pounding on me, and I'm like, come on. You know, I already know that I need to take him down because of the shock and everything. We've got, you know, he's purifying it. You've got the masochism to deal with. Now my life model decoy is gone. And I'm like, am I going, look at him, he's just hitting me. I'm like, am I going to die again to this guy? Now he's got me in the corner. I'm like, come on, bro. Not another death. The first one was something. Damn. Dang, I tell you, I was sitting here sweating. I was like, no, this is why I like Nick Fury. All of that, if it was somebody else, I'd have already been dead. That would have been a second death. And I'd have been staring at the screen, screen like, what just happened? But Nick Fury took it. Took it like a champ. All right? So middle is cleared. All right? And that's usually all I do for the evening. Uh, and then I go to bed. Uh, lately, they've been moving pretty quickly. And sometimes they've moved fast enough that I can get in before um, I go to bed. But if it's too late, I'm not going to fight sleepy. Um, not going to do it. So this one here, standard fight. The only thing that makes it a little bit uh, tricky is the unstoppable armor. So, of course, Claire is perfect. She strips away the armors, but she don't strip them away fast enough that he won't go unstoppable if it triggers. Because he'll get the armor up and he'll go unstoppable. And if she's in the middle of a combo, she may or may not strip away the unstoppable, but not fast enough. I've had it happen to me too often. Okay, so uh, you may notice something. I mentioned unstoppable armor, right? Where is it? 
it's not there because they've already taken down the boss. Uh, I I was uh, late waking up and I wanted to wake up fully. Uh, usually I'll try to do a little bit of arena to kind of, you know, warm my fingers up, you know, get my thumbs uh, used to swiping and tapping. And uh, I looked over and I'm like, whoa, they already finished the boss. Okay. They've already cleared that out. So I'm like, let me go in there and uh, finish off my uh, lane here. But that made it much, much easier for me. All right, you can see here the mini is not even there anymore. So I really just need to clear this off. So I, Guillotine, I don't really have a problem fighting her as long as I remember. As long as I remember to knock her down and watch for the digi cloak uh timer that is the only thing that would really mess me up and of course uh, i don't have to worry about the unstoppable armor thing or anything like that um so i'm not anticipating any difficulty but because they've already done all the heavy lifting i don't want to be the one to die and lose us the war you know uh, the war is pretty close right now. And so I'm just like, okay, I I don't want to die. It's the last fight that I'm going to have to do here. Do not want to die. Okay? So first thing I'm going to do, boom. Heavy attack. Now her digi cloak is on cooldown. All right, now I can fight normal um, five hit combos if I want to. Uh, switch out to the next phase. Uh, I didn't go to the next phase there. But at this point, I'm going to bait it out. You notice every time or sometimes when I dash back, it parries. I really hate that. And that's why I don't like the stunning reflection node. All right. This time I just intercepted with a special. I could have tried to go into Curse of Hellfire and the fight probably would have been over. Um, but I didn't want to risk her draining my power or hitting me and pushing me to a special three. So... That's what I did. And then, boom, took her down. Nice, smooth, and easy. All right. So I believe that was the final fight uh, that I had in this war. Let's uh, take a look uh, just to make sure I was correct. Um, Mini Boss Island, I believe, was already cleared. Boss was already cleared. Yeah. Look at that. Already done, so didn't have to worry about the global. All right, let's take a brief intermission and we'll be right back and you guys will find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. Look how close it was. I told you guys the war was close. That's why I did not want to be the one to die and, and uh, lose us this war. Look at that. One attack bonus difference, man. One attack bonus difference. So had I died, there's no telling. But we did get him on uh, one point in diversity. Uh, and I don't remember how many of their kills uh, didn't work or didn't count. All right. Uh, but you notice we've been on a winning streak. We've changed up our formula. Uh, folks are buckling down. Uh, a few people were removed because they weren't performing uh, up to uh, what our alliance leader and the officers um, are looking for. Uh, but that's going to do it. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.